Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A pretty interesting spot. I mean, it's cool and I'm sure it's quite uh, it's quite a nice place to go, especially considering the surroundings. We can't really see any other buildings other than uh, the area that we're in and all we can see is sort of trees and very, very dry, dry uh, sort of land bushes. It looks like you don't want to walk through this. It feels very sharp. I don't know. This place, I'm sure, is quite an oasis in wherever this area is but honestly in the grand scheme of things doesn't look like somewhere you'd travel too far to go to uh but you know that's just uh, some kind of judgment i'm making and i'm sure this is uh, quite a nice place honestly it just the thing that's the most puzzling to me is anything that has to do with the area we're in right now it's just these places right here seem like you know these are the rooms but there's like no path leading from this pool area to there and are you supposed to walk over over this stuff this looks like you know this this i mean this might just be you know some nice s sand and some grass and stuff but i don't know i mean you'd expect a path maybe i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe you wouldn't expect a path maybe the path goes over here so it's like a tightrope are we walking on a tightrope there's like a road over here or something uh anyways it's up to me to guess where i think this is and like i said in yesterday's video i this reminded me of a place in australia actually it's reminded me of um one time we were somewhere along the lines of uh it's like we were like around here somewhere or somewhere like around somewhere like around here uh but i don't think we're there this is just what it reminds me of i i do think this is somewhere like south africa maybe um yeah maybe lesotho no that's very mountainous we're not gonna do that we're gonna go like up here and, and say sure Right around here. I mean, I honestly have no idea, but South Africa, let's say so. I don't think this is Brazil. I don't really know. Maybe it's Australia. I, I just don't know. So let's make a guess. And the answer is, oh, wow, that's cool. Kenya. Okay. Well, that's totally worth it because honestly, when the heck are we in Kenya? That doesn't happen very often at all. So I, I do like that quite a bit. Kenya. Wow. Really, really cool. In the... um. Samburu National Reserve. Okay. Safari Lounge. So is this, uh, do you come here to, to hunt? Do you come here? Oh, I mean, you know what? That makes sense, right? I mean, okay. For many reasons, maybe it doesn't make sense, right? Let's get that out of the way. But it sort of makes sense. Its existence, at least, uh, is starting to make, uh, it's starting to become at least uh, relatively understandable. There you go. We are in Samburu Sopa Lodge, which I'm guessing is some kind of hunting lodge. Not a person that uh, hunts myself. Never done it. Don't really want to. But there you go. So, you know, although this could be like a safari type place. And honestly, that'd be pretty cool, right? Going to go check out some awesome animals. Not necessarily a hunting place. Uh, it could also, I mean, look at that Buffalo Springs. Are there buffalo there? I'd like to go see some buffalo myself. There's also a lot of other animals I'd like to see. I don't know if those animals are found in Kenya, to be honest. Not really uh, familiar with the sort of wildlife that lives in Kenya. But, uh, you know, we know there, we know there's buffalo. It said that much. But uh, there you go. I would like to see uh, some other animals, especially animals that you can't find here in Canada. So there you go. Very, very cool. I only got 520 points. Hopefully some of you guys got that right. Or close. All right, here we are in the today's daily challenge location, a dry, hot mountain top. But uh, on the plus side, we do seem to be by the sea, by the ocean, by some sort of large body of water. And there seems to be some sort of big desert stretching out in the distance. My God, what a cool place. But my goodness, what a tough place to get to i mean maybe it's not that difficult but geez imagine walking from here to there i mean i'm sure that's not how these people got here i'm sure they took some other uh route but um you know this seems like uh walking from here to there would be a pretty long treacherous dry walk i mean it's, it's hard to tell the distance 
especially in sort of a th in a climate like this. It doesn't look like it's too far away, but that might just be your eyes playing tricks on you. It could actually be Miles. Who who, who knows? It probably is Miles, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is a daily challenge, and that means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. Put it down in the comment section below, and tell me where in the world do you think this awesome place can be found. In tomorrow's video, much like in the section you just saw, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think it is. This could be a few places in the world, but I've got a region that I've got in mind for where I'm going to guess. I don't know if it's going to be right. I have absolutely no idea, but I'm hoping it is. Regardless of the outcome of my guess, I will announce whoever guessed closest out of uh, you guys in the comment section of tomorrow's video. So today, down in this comment section, put down your guesses as to where you think this is, and hopefully you are going to be the one who is going to be closest. You don't want a prize, but um, hey, it is fun. So put your guesses. Where in the world do you think this awesome place is right now? All right, folks, now on to the main section of today's video, and hey, this would be pretty cool as uh, some sort of uh, location uh, for uh, like a daily challenge. Now, wouldn't it? We're in someone's backyard. Wow. Who is an awesome backyard? Who's the who's the who's the lucky person who has this nice backyard? We're just gonna uh, just guess. Uh, we'll say we're in Idaho. Let's make the guess. Let's find out where we are. Oh wow, someone in Saskatchewan uh, near Prince Albert. Wow. Okay, that was just a just a side when I wanted to figure out where that was because that was pretty cool. Someone's backyard got a trampoline, some big pirate ship. My God, gonna be the biggest, most popular kid on the block if you got a pirate ship like that. Sadly, we were just north of we were like you know, 20 kilometers north of Prince Albert, so the odds of that kid has neighbors um, are quite slight. Well, they do have neighbors, they just live really far away. Anyways, this is a viewer challenge, because what we're doing from now on, we're doing viewer challenges every episode, and we got one sent to us by our good friend, Fuck Off Google Plus. Bob and his tank are going to come get us. I made this same joke last challenge our friend here sent us. Um, yeah, Bob and his tank, Google Plus sucks. It, it does, well... I mean, I guess it sucks. I don't use it myself. Uh, there, Google has, you know, everyone hated when Google implemented uh, sort of their uh, forced Google Plus integration with YouTube. It screwed a lot of things up. But, you know, it doesn't really matter at this point. But, uh, hey, you know, throwback to times gone by. I wonder how long ago that was. Was that, was that one year ago? or is it, it was like a year and a half. It was like March 2013 or something. If I just had to toss out a date in my mind that I think all this Google Plus stuff happened. Anyways, we've got a challenge here, and it is themed. Now, I did stay quite... I did spend quite a while not doing this challenge. I waited on this one for quite a long time. The reason, it is a Finland challenge. Yes, a Finland challenge. We've done two or three of those uh, before, so I wanted to give ourselves enough time uh, between these so that, uh, you know, now we can feel comfortable going back to Finland and seeing if uh, some of my Finland skills have uh, meant anything. Now, of course, if you guys want to send over uh, some challenges, you can absolutely do that. Go to geosetter.com, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com, create your own custom challenges. You can give them themes like our good friend Fuck Off Google Plus did. Uh, you can make it a Finland challenge. I mean, please don't, or at least if you do, you know, wait a while to send it because it's going to be a while before I do it, even if it is your first time sending a challenge, just because... I mean, having too many Finland-specific challenges might be a little thing. But honestly, you want to know a secret? If you want, really want to send a Finland challenge, you can just make one and then not tell me it's one of them and I'll do it. You know, there you go. I'll remember you, whoever you are that sends it in. But uh, there you go. So uh, you can, yeah, whatever theme you want, wherever you can place me, uh, you know, you can show me around where you live. You can show me around where you've been. You can even place it you know, wherever. So, awesome. Uh, act, if you want to send it to me, use the YouTube inbox system. I know it sucks and it's hard to find. Just use that. If not, you can put it down in the comment section in one of the videos. So, without further ado, let's do this. If you want to find a link to this challenge, click down in the description below. Click on the link and do one yourself. Voila. Okay, I think we're near a border. This is just what I feel from a big line of trucks. We are on the uh, Finland-Russian border. Finland, Russia, or are we going to be like Finland, Sweden? It's hard to tell. I'm going to go with Finland, Russia on this one, I think. Uh, I think we're near a border. At least that's what I'm going to go with. Helsinki is 183. Turku is 345. Turku is, is that this one or is that the, is the Ulu? Turku is which, which one is Turku again? Um, 
not really certain which one that is. Oh, Turku's this one. Okay, that's even further. Helsinki's 183. So that means we're probably somewhere along the lines of... Eh, maybe we're right here. Like right right there. I would say I would say so. I would say like right there. E. Oh, hold on. We're in an E road. Okay. Well, we can find that. E. Yeah. All right. E18. So we're going to be then right here because that's the E18. So we're going to go right there and we're going to say we're near the border. Helsinki. Wow. This is really 183 kilometers and this is pretty much that same length yet again. That is quite surprising, I must say. But uh, you know what? It's uh, fine, I guess. Is this is the border checkpoint? Might be, or this might be over here. Uh, we're going to go a little bit up the road then. We're going to go right there. All right. Awesome. I mean, that's the first thing that comes to mind. You see big lines of trucks like that. You know, they, they want to go into Russia. They want to they want to go right in, you know, deliver their goods to uh, St. Petersburg over here. The, bring the nice people of St. Petersburg some uh, much-needed um, shipping containers. What else do we got here? We've got some, some covered things. We can't really see what's there. Oh, my God. Was this... It's a trucker taking a piss in a jug. I mean, I know they sometimes... Uh, there you go. You got a trucker over here. Got his big... Yeah, it looks like a plastic bag. It's okay. In the plastic... But he, he wants to be a little bit more discreet than others. In that, he's got uh, he's got a toilet roll. You know, a roll of toilet paper. As it's uh, also called. As, you know, I actually do call it that. Toilet roll is not something that's... I mean, I guess people use it. I just used it, didn't I? Uh, there he goes. He's got a toilet roll in there. Perhaps he's got some kind of, uh, some kind of jug to contain uh, the urine, and there you go, I'm sorry if what I'm saying is disgusting, that's just the way of the road, <laughs> oh boy, okay, Transfenica, Mersk, okay, Mersk, uh, that's a big shipping thing, uh, Captain Phillips, was that was a Mersk ship, right, in uh, that movie, that was a good movie, uh, I, I quite enjoyed that, um, Captain Phillips, I want to see the boat movie, uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to keep moving down here, and uh, what else do we see? Not much. Well, that's the way of the road. Let's make our guess. I think we're there, and we were indeed right there. 63.94. Very, very awesome. Oh, well, it still remains an E-road, even when it's in Russia. You know what? I would have thought that wouldn't have been the case, but it is. Well, there you go. Quite cool. Uh, 63.94. Looks like there was maybe a font change over here or something. This font looks a bit different than it used to. I don't know. All right. What do we see here? Well, from what I can tell, or somewhere, I don't really know where. Uh, the season is a bit of a difficult one to pick. This isn't Tampere. We know that much. And the reason we know that much is because... Uh, is because of uh, the, the Tampere has a very, or Tampere, or whatever the, the heck you want to call it. Uh, well, the, whatever the heck it's called, not you want to call it. It, it does have, have a real name. Uh, it, that, unfortunately, has, um, well, not fortunately, it has uh, some kind of very cool, uh, like, big tower, spire type thing. So, I mean, that that's pretty awesome. Uh, but going back over here, we can see some names in some places, and we see uh, Thule, I'm not familiar, not really familiar with any of these. Actually, Harparentna. Oh boy. Okay. None of those. None of those. None of these places leap out into my mind, which is sad. I really wish that they did. You know, when in doubt, just guess around here. Guess uh, sort of the uh, Helsinki. Uh, guess in this area, and you know, you you might not be wrong. It doesn't feel like that bad of an idea to do, but I don't know. I mean. I can't really see anything else over here. Maybe we're gonna see some good stuff. Do do we see anything? No. Oh well, this is this is really nice though. I would like to explore this place a little bit, but it seems like we're going away. Big old boats. These are a lot of fun. Boats like that. They're uh, those are always fun to uh, always fun to ride on. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where these places are, which is really sad. They might be big places. If they are big places, I'm very sorry. I just don't recognize them. I think we're going to be up up real north at one point, but I don't think that's going to be this one right here. I, I can't tell where we are, honestly. None of these places are jumping out to, into my mind. Uh, so I'm going to guess, when in doubt, sort of guess right there. Make the guess and the answer, whoa, way more north. Why didn't you tell me Ulu was around here? Wow, that was a border town. Oh, wow, look at that. So we were on uh, the Finland-Swedish border up here in a place called Tornio. 
There you go. We got a big Ikea right over here. That's very, very cool. And, uh, you know, there you go. Very nice. I mean, it's be nice to just be able to, you know, just drive right into another country. If only the U.S. and Canada had such an agreement where, you know, you could freely travel between the U.S. and Canada. Honestly, I mean, such such proposals have been made in the past. But sadly, I guess uh, the, the reason why they don't want to do that is uh, drugs. You know, drugs is a big issue in America. I guess it's a big issue in Canada, too. And uh, I'm assuming that's the reason why there's not some sort of, like, proper open border between Canada and the U.S. I mean, there really should be. Sort of, it's sort of sad and crazy that there isn't, but, you know, it'd be nice if there was a, if, we, you know, you could just sort of freely drive over the border. You know, you used to not need to give your passport, but uh, now you do, uh, and uh, there you go. But uh, between Sweden and Finland, I'm sure one can just uh, sort of, without very much difficulty on this road right here, just drive. It's probably not much of a problem here. Should have should have went through. Maybe maybe we could have went through. That would have been fun. Uh, Twenty four oh eight. Unfortunately, I didn't really realize we were there, so couldn't have actually done that. Where are we now? Well, find ourselves find ourselves somewhere very nice, somewhere that I I like quite a bit. This is a very nice place, actually. Big fan of this place. Where where is this? Hmm. Sadly, those places aren't easily recognizable. But E eighteen is uh, somewhere around here. So we're probably going to guess... Oh my god, wow, I went far away. We're going to guess this is Turku. Uh, that's what I believe it is. Uh, just off, just just by making sort of uh, an immediate guess. Kipir is up here on E63. E63 is this one. And that does indeed lead to the right place. So yeah, we're going to call this Turku. I'm going to say it is. I mean, it could be Javaskela. Javaskela. But this seems like quite a big place, right? I mean, I might be wrong on this one, but I mean, look at this place. It's very, very nice. So I'm going to I'm going to guess that also E18, I don't think goes up to here. I mean, E18 is sort of a down road. It's this one right here. So yeah, this uh this seems to uh be Turku. I I believe it to be. Let's go in town. Let's go see if we can let's go in town find some find some cool stuff. I mean, clearly we're in Finland. We know that much. Uh, and uh do we see any Okay, there's some sort of like digging excavation going on. Oh wow, making a nice outdoor hockey rink. Doesn't seem like it's too close to winter. Maybe it's just a, a, a sort of a ball hockey rink, which is pretty sweet, right? I mean that's quite nice. It's not winter time yet. Uh, you know you're not gonna bring out the uh, bring out the boards to make a uh, sort of winter hockey rink. But uh, there you go. You got uh, you got a get a ball hockey rink. That's pretty sweet. What else do we see around here? Um. Nothing that I can really, really put, really, really see clear. Well, nothing that I can sort of jumps out at me. Sort of a heart around there. That's very nice, very nice. And uh, anything else? No? All right. Ooh, okay, what do we got around here? Where's that one place? There was that really awesome sports bar. I think we were in Helsinki that one time. That was really sweet uh, when we saw that sports bar, right? I like that quite a bit. Uh, but we're not at that sport bar, sports bar right now. So there you go. Let's uh, let's make the guess. Uh, oh crap! I didn't even place a place. That's fine. Turku. We were indeed there. Got that one right. I should have made a more precise guess, but I sort of felt like I could just place it right down. Okay. Well, where are we now? Hmm. Is this the super north one? I don't think it is. I don't think this is the super north one. It might be, but just because it's snowy doesn't mean we're that far north. Whatever reason the Google trucks uh, decide to drive during the winter around Finland and Sweden and Norway, something they don't do in Canada and the U.S. They only come out during the summertime here. Uh, in fact, uh, they're I, I think they were redoing some of the areas near uh, near where I live. At least I sort of heard about that uh, that uh, they were going along. So that's pretty sweet. We got a nice market, fresh fruit. Fresh blueberries that, that well, doesn't look like pomegranate arrows. I don't really know. Some sort of other berry, some sort of like uh, like peach or maybe um, maybe other things that are that color. Where are we? It seems like a rather small place in general. We could call it. We could call it Ulu. I don't feel. I feel like that would be actually not a bad guess. I don't think it's too far north. 
I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Ulu just because I don't think actually we're gonna go with instead of that we're gonna go with Kuopio. Seems like a rather sort of a large enough place, but just sort of smaller than this one, smaller than this one, smaller than this one. So that's that's the logic that I'm gonna go behind on this one. I don't think we're really that far north, so I don't want to go with uh, I don't want to go with Ulu. Although you know it's a possibility. In fact, we were rather far north on uh, the uh, Finland Sweden guest guest number two. And uh, on that one, uh, I, I didn't think we were that far north either. So, you know, it shows what I know. Fortunately, Sweden uh, Sweden is also a country I don't very uh, know very much about. But Finland, definitely one as well. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's interesting. Is there like some sort of arrow? I don't, does that, I mean, I'm assuming that means we're the top part of the country, right? That's what that means? Yeah, I'm guessing. All right, so we're the top part of the country. Seems like it stops like right here. Well, we're going to go right there. We're going to go with Ulu then, I guess. So let's make the guess. No, we were way more far north. My goodness. In a place called Anontekio. Wow. That is pretty, pretty rad. My God, that is really far north. I mean, like... That's pretty crazy, like the currents, like the the, the the like air currents and stuff. Because believe me, if you are that far north in Canada, the weather is strikingly different than uh, you'll find there. You won't see any trees at all. You'll be seeing quite the uh, quite the weather change between uh, being here and being like you know there. Being there, you're gonna you're gonna know where you are. Um, Whereas uh, here it seems like it was a different story. I mean that seemed like uh, seemed like a sort of if I were to uh, say something near where I live that's similar. I would say that's like a North Bay. You know, there you go. North Bay might be a little bit bigger, but you know that's a, sort of a, something like that, right? Uh, so, anyways, there you go. Twenty-five forty-two. Very nice. And finally, where are we? Oh, this. You know, this. This can only be one place. Uh, this can only be uh, my favorite city of uh, Tampere. Right? That's what this is. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm just pulling that right out of my ass. But the first thing when I see this, that's what I think. And until proven otherwise, that's what I'm going to go with, really. Um, Lati on a 10. Okay, well, it doesn't help too much. So there, is there a 10 coming out of here? Uh, no. Okay, well, what about this one over here? Is there a 10 coming out of this? No, there's not. What about this one over here? There's, there's not, and is there a 10 coming out of here? No. All right, Helsinki. Are we in Helsinki by any chance? There's no 10. Turku, again, for whatever reason? No? All right, well, we're going to stick with Tampere then, uh, because I honestly have no idea. Uh, let's go this way. I think this is where the action is. Crossing a bridge. Scandinavian hot rock show. Oh, man. Hammen Kari. Shit, that doesn't help. Sadly, I wish it did. I really, really do. But it doesn't. Oh. Mm, oh, that was just... Uh, those letters were so similar. Dang it. Oh, so close right right there, right? Maybe I should just guess this anyways. I don't think I should, really. I think that'd be a sort of a, a fool's guess. I mean, there's no way we are there, right? It's a different... It was spelled differently. So, oh, we're going right into, like, a, a dead end. Well, we found a parking lot. That sounds fun. What is this person doing over here? Oh, look at that. It's a little cute dog. Oh, there you go. We've got a nice old person uh, and uh, a uh, a cute little dog right over here. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. There you go. Oh, this person is petting the dog. Yeah. All right. So let's move. Uh, let's move back this way and see if we can spot anything. Do we see anything particular? Uh, no, not really. Let's go down over here like this. Go up these. Wow, look at that. It's paved with, I don't know, cobblestone. Paved with some sort of uh, brick, which is really interesting. You don't see that very much. Um, there you go. Very, very cool indeed. Well, you know what? I'm going to not guess there. I'm going to go back to my original guess and say that this is where we are. Let's make the guess and the answer. Shit. Well, you can't change the name of the place on me if you're going to do that. I was zoomed right into this place. 
apparently places can have two names. You know, whenever I'm like, oh, well, this is a similar name, I'm just going to guess this. I'm never right. This had a similar name, yet it was the right place. My God, I have been trolled, trolled beyond belief. I can't believe I could have gotten that one so right. What a random place. Oh, my God. I am furious. Not really at all. 36-36. Hey, no, that's not bad. You know, it was uh, close to where I originally thought my first instinct wasn't that wrong. So, uh, do we know Finland? 21,153. Honestly, isn't... I mean, it's okay. It's got that one right, right off the bat. That was pretty easy. Turku was also pretty easy. This one was at least a decent guess, and these two weren't really... So, these two were hard, maybe, but I didn't get them at all. This one was also hard, but I got it pretty close. These two, I think, were the easier ones, and then I did get them on the dot. So, I don't really know what conclusion to come up with. I'm going to say, Finland and me, 4 out of 10. That's uh, my knowledge. Uh, you know, that's, I don't know, 4 out of 10 on a worldwide scale. It'd probably be a little bit more than that because, you know, on a worldwide scale, the average person, I don't know how much they know about Finland. I, I think I probably know a lot more than the average person in the world. But, I mean, honestly, that's not saying much. That's that's saying very little, to be honest. So, there you go. Still give them, I'm going to give myself 4 out of 10. 21, 153. It's a pretty good score. Oh, well, look at that stumble upon. I'm not going to click that button. I don't know what it does. I don't really know what stumble upon is either. So great. We can pin it. Oh my God. This is so much, so much nonsense here. And well, thank you very much. Fuck off Google Plus for this challenge. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh yeah. Cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.